everybody i'm kautilya pandit and today we're going to talk about something that is pretty dangerous it's an interesting dangerous for humanity dangerous for everybody and uh, interesting from physics because it was developed in physical labs and now we will learn something that is different than what we usually study okay so let us know what actually we are studying now you know about one thing you know what actually happened at the time of 1945 if i ask you a question why did the japanese surrender or i ask you in a haryanvi accent why did the japanese surrender so japanese surrender or surrendered because they were bombed by two bombs and these bombs were not the conventional one they were atomic or nuclear bomb then what is actually this thing let's learn what is actually any kind of atomic or nuclear bomb so nuclear bomb the reason that it's so much danger to humanity so it's so much dangerous to humanity is that it's different from what the conventional bombs are according to physics because it was developed in physical labs nuclear reaction is happening in these bombs and that reaction is nuclear fusion when we want to explode the bomb we trigger the reaction and the reaction starts what is actually nuclear fusion if you've seen the previous video about nuclear fusion in which i included nuclear fusion is addition of things nuclear fission is division of things let's imagine we have a nuclear element imagine a uranium so we have a uranium atom or a uranium element so we have a uranium so much we have uranium packed inside an atomic bomb and we have triggered the reaction so now what will happen that uranium would convert it would split into different atoms like it can uh, split into cobalt or many other atoms so what actually happens is we have a big atom it splits 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 down into a lot of atoms and all these atoms ha- are uh, occupying a lot of space imagine we have a, a uranium 235 atom uranium 235 isotope in which it takes this much space and we have another so it's divided into this 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 and many others kind of uh, atoms so all of these would come would uh, take a lot of space and due to which what actually happens is that this amount of space or this amount of if we have a liquid if we have a container if we have a cylindrical container of an atomic bomb here and then we if we see that after fission all the all that uranium or all that plutonium is converted into a lot of different atoms a lot of smaller atoms and these all these small uh, these all smaller atoms are uh, they are now in a very big region so first it was just in a container but now it has spread Two kilometers of radius, so uh, like a radius of one kilometer, two kilometer, or anything, and whatever comes in its way, it destroys it because one of the thing that is, it's a great explosion. So due to the sound and due to the uh, sound of the explosion and the power of the explosion, other than that, also due to the radiation that is uh, due to the uh, bomb explosion, and also because if if we have an atom and if it splits, 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 and imagine I'm in the way. So here is uranium. it is splitted and splitted and i come its way and i go dead so this is how actually our uh, nuclear bomb works and i hope that you understood this nuclear bomb and now you can understand how actually did hiroshima bomb explosion and nagasaki so how did these two explosion uh, caused a lot of terror in humanity and how is these bomb very very dangerous how are these really dangerous for our humanity and also for us and that's why nuclear bomb there are like a lot of restrictions on making nuclear bombs even though that conventional bombs are made by every country but nuclear bombs are really really crucial and they are very powerful and they are very deadly so that is the reason why countries give uh, ban other countries who make nuclear bomb so these are really dangerous and from physics point of view they are interesting because one reaction is happening in them and that is nuclear fission so i hope that you understood and now i'd like to sign off here with me godle pandits and now i'll wish you any kind of thing because uh, i hope that you will <clears throat> do well in the field of science and physics and who, are, who all are watching and may you your dream come true so with this i'd like to uh, give a note so thank you very bye bye and signing off fair it's me godle pandit